Hey everyone, Stephanie here and welcome to day number four of our 30 day yoga challenge. Today's practice is going to be a very gentle flow to stretch and release through your back. You won't need anything for this practice today, just a little bit of space to move around. So let's get started. We'll begin our practice today coming onto all fours. Taking a moment to find our stability and balance here, we'll balance our shoulders right over the crease line of the wrists as we're bringing our hips right over our knees. Lengthening through the spine, opening the space gently across our collarbones as we engage down into the ground. On our next inhalation, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone, opening the heart center forward. So we're just coming into a little bit of a spinal extension here. Now, as we exhale, tucking the tailbone, rounding the back. Let's try that again. Big inhale, belly drops, chest opening, tailbone lifting. As we breathe out, tucking the tailbone, almost as if we were tucking it between our knees, scooping the belly, rounding the back. Beginning to gently flow this movement with our breath. Linking the two together so that the movement of the spine extending forward is going to last for that whole inhalation and then the movement of the spine rounding is lasting for the entire exhalation today. Let's do that for two more really big deep breath cycles. center, shifting the hips to the right. I want you to look over your right shoulder, almost like there's somebody behind you that you're looking for. And then we'll shift on over to the left side, going side to side. And again, just finding the movement of the body and the rhythm of our breathing today. Allowing our back to stretch and release. So we can continue moving just as we are, if we want to. We can begin to circle. Maybe combining those two movements whatever movement feels really good for you and your back here as we are on all fours. And when you're ready to do so, circling the opposite direction. to center, sending our hips back so that we're sitting back onto our heels, walking the hands forward, coming into extended child's pose. Breathing the length of your spine here. comfortable for you, we can come into downward facing dog. So we'll spread the fingers, anchoring the hands into the floor. So really make a firm foundation into the floor with the hands as we gently are gripping our fingertips ever so slightly towards the mat. Shoulders releasing down the spine. We'll shift forward.
tucking our toes underneath as we're lifting the hips up and back. So our tailbone is the thing that is the highest up there today. Activating the shoulders away from the ears. And if it works for you, start to walk the dog. Bending one knee, dropping the opposite heel. Enjoying the stretch that we're finding through the entire back of the body today. If you feel like you have been in downward facing dog long enough, gently taking the knees back to the floor, sending our hips back into extended child's pose, or perhaps you want to take a few more deep breaths and down dog your choice today. Walking our hands in, shifting our knees to one side, hips to the other, coming into a comfortable seated position on our mats. So we'll let our shoulders relax down the back, lengthening up through the crown of the head, shaking out the arms and just letting the palms rest. Closing our eyes, taking just a few deep breaths here to seal our practice. open, drawing the hands together at heart center. Light within me honors and salutes the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for our day four yoga practice. I will see you tomorrow for day number five of our 30-day yoga challenge. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.